The initiative was founded a year and a half ago and is focusing on seven tracks related to expanding the footprint of cloud computing inside the IEEE for the benefit of the industry. The IEEE Cloud Computing Initiative, I believe, has come a long ways, but when you look back, it's, it's only been a year and a half. And, and I think that, that the amount of time that we put in there has just been incredible. We've had a wonderful large team representing uh, uh, multiple uh, experts across the area, ranging from uh, bodies of work and standards. We've got uh, close to a press release announcement on an intercloud test bed. Uh, and uh, we've got a lot of work done in conferences. Cloud computing tracks are conferences, publications, standards, testbed, big data, education, and web portal and uh, Marcom. The initiative started out uh, organizing five conferences uh, representing each of the geographical areas, uh, ranging from Asia Pacific to Latin America to Europe in, in the U.S. And uh, we also had uh, what we call a premier conference that was just sort of a, a small idea that grew into a wonderful initiative. And this was the Cloud Computing for Emerging Markets Conference in Bangalore, India. And I think I can say that uh, it was the first IEEE conference that was focused solely on cloud computing held in India. And last year in, in October of 2012 was quite successful for a first time conference. We had a great attendance, over 160 people. We've had some really exciting developments very recently in the publications track. This week at the IEEE Board of Directors series, the IEEE Technical Activities Board approved for phase one our publication, Transactions on Big Data. We've also uh, approved Cloud Computing Magazine and Transactions on Cloud Computing, which will be very soon uh, actually published. The other thing that we've done too is uh, really worked hard to co-locate a lot of our conferences so that they complement each other and then long term um, it uh, provides a, a better uh, attendance, collaboration, um, just to really gathering a lot of um, uh, interested people, like mine, subject matter experts. In the education side, we're very close to announcing a cloud computing curriculum that expands from uh, intermediate to expert cloud computing information. We also have a, a very vibrant uh, web cloud portal. Uh, as a matter of fact, it was only a year ago that we launched this portal. And um, we have had uh, so many hits on that. Uh, and week to week, the traffic just continues to grow. Uh, received a lot of positive feedback. People really enjoy the portal. They come back quite often. And I think one of the reasons behind that is we, we keep updating it actually several times a week. In the conferences side, of course, we're here at uh, IEEE Cloud 2013, which is one of the conferences that the Cloud Computing Initiative is sponsoring. Later in the year, we have the second year of our Cloud Computing for Emerging Markets conference in Bangalore and IEEE CloudCom 2013 in Bristol, UK. We also have Cloud Computing uh, Asia Pacific uh, in Kyoto and uh, cloud computing in South America uh, later in the year. What we hope to accomplish is the release of a newsletter and also creation of two committees. Because one of the things that this initiative is doing is think of it as a startup company. What we're doing is putting the foundation, the seeds in place so that it really represents the entire IEEE and uh, we're going to you know, put committees together so that we can sustain conferences and sustain the portal uh, as well as social media and hopefully we'll apply that uh, best practice to the other tracks that we have on the initiative. One of the things we're working on is IEEE P2302 which is uh, a standard for cloud interoperability and federation. We've recently developed the second draft of that standard in the working group has incorporated a number of contributions that we've received from external experts in cloud computing architecture. The focus on this is to create federated cloud standards, so clouds from multiple 
independent proprietary and open vendors can interoperate much as uh, the telecommunications system was developed to interoperate in the creation of direct distance dialing internationally. At IEEE, uh, one of the things that uh, we're known for is uh, identifying and focusing on new emerging technologies. Uh, cloud computing has been one of the key ones. Uh, along with that previously too is uh, smart grid, uh, life sciences, and transportation electrification. New this year we've decided is to expand the coverage on that and we've introduced uh, programs on software-defined network, Internet of Things, Reviewing and Computer, and Green ICT. And I think that these are really important, critical aspects because they're all interrelated with, for example, cloud computing. In the intercloud work, we're looking at security in general. There's also some potential work that has been discussed with the Cloud Computing Standards Committee, which is the sponsor of these standards in the IEEE that I chair, about potential specialized security work. There's also security work, a lot of security work within the IEEE Computer Society standards effort. And so we expect to collaborate with those people who are security experts and only do cloud computing standards around security when there's a gap that needs to be filled. You can't just have cloud computing applications or services without connectivity perhaps and maybe that tie-in with Internet of Things. Additionally, you know, software-defined networks. I mean, if you look at it, uh, it, cloud computing can't stand uh, independent of that. So I think it's, it's really cool to have a focus on all of these additional technologies. And one of the things recently that we did was we had an all-day workshop where we are looking for additional ideas out there. So one of the things that we try to do for IEEE is always look for things that are relevant, that are new, uh, that, that uh, is really uh, driving our future.